by the Linux 3D artist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how to create these buffer strand renders using the create strands around strands compound. Which varies here of uh, looks such as pipes, tentacles, and a variety of different types of look, balls of all. And also this kind of abstract uh, strand towel. So it's a uh, look quite quickly and easily using uh, this compound. Okay, so I've got a scene here with a typical strand uh, setup that I've covered in videos before. We've basically got a mesh sphere that's uh, been scaled up and we're generating some points across those, across the uh, sphere here. Then we've got a vector field scope here uh, for generating the strands, which has a scale field with a curl noise field to give us this look. So can you use the scale to increase the curl noise field effect? Then we've got the set strand size profile. So if we wanted thicker strands, we could increase that. And then finally, we've got the set Arnold strand settings with the mode override set to thick. That's going into the output. Okay, so let's create the compound. So let's create strands around strands. Get the outstrands to the strands and the outstrands to the output. You should notice if we zoom in, it's generating strands around those strands. So, so we go to the parameters of the compound. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is increase the parent radius scale, something like 20. And then the child radius scale to one. Just give us the thicker child strands. So we're getting something that really looks like a like rope or a, a cable or a tentacle. We've got the size profile here, which is going down to the end. So increase that, get the profile at the end, but I'm going to leave that as is. So let's look at some of the other attributes. So we could reduce the number of children and increase the number of twists. Something like that. It's like a pine cone or a tentacle, maybe. This number of children to 20 gives us this. Go even further, 40. Go back to the vector field scope and flow line samples per second. Always tweak the this value so lower values give a different look here. Yes. As we increase that, we get more samples along the trend. So yeah, have an experiment with the flow line sample second per second in combination with the create strand around strands get a different uh, look. I put the flow line length per second to one, flow line length samples per second to one. And then if you go back to the scale, yes, I'm going to reduce the number of children. Eight flowers. If we wanted more of them, we could go to the scatter points and increase that number. We can just animate the flow line lengths, extrude those out. Go flow line length something like 50 and the scale to the and then I'm going to reduce the child radius scale. So now we're also getting like balls of wool. I've got uh, another scene here, very similar, but this time instead of a curl noise field, we use a fractal noise field, which is giving us these kind of vertical tower structures. And then under the create strands around strands, we've got 80 children. So as if just to reduce the number of children, so you get a very different look. More strands, less strands. Uh, reducing twist per ratio, you get less detail because there's less less twists around the strands. You go to the fractal noise field and just have a play with some of the settings. You can change the distribution of the strands 
uh, around the sphere. However, we don't have enough uh, points on the sphere. To so I'm going to go to the scatter compound and just increase the amount there so I can get a better idea of what the fractal noise is doing. Go back to the create strands around the strands. Increase the number of twist ratios. See the difference it makes. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.